Hello, my name is Erica and welcome to another edition of Write With Me. Today we are going to look at mind maps. So a couple of days ago I did an exercise called the Triple Treat songwriting exercise where we started with a mind map. Um, this exercise we're only going to do the mind map and I'm going to talk about one of the techniques I like to use when creating a mind map. So in the previous exercise we just went with related words, which is a great way to make a mind map, but there's lots of other things you can do um, involving a bit of research. So mind maps are the way that I really like to start any writing I do. Um, I find they're a great way to get my brain working. And it's also a nice way of seeing um, how you can link often, you know, in unrelated concepts, suddenly they start to link together through the mind map and you can kind of build a broader picture for a song or a piece of writing, um, seeing all of those words together and how they're connected. So what we're going to do today is one of my favourite techniques, and that is to use an etymological dictionary. So if you don't know what etymology is, <laughs> I'm going to challenge myself with pronunciation today. Etymology is um, basically the, um, the study of words and where they come from, so the study of language. So many of the words in our language have, um, you know, all of the words come from the same root. Um, and, you know, it's quite interesting actually when you look into where a certain word comes from and you find that it's related to all of these other words. So for today's exercise, you will need um, something to search the internet basically. So your phone or a tablet or a laptop. And I'm going to give you a prompt word to start. So sometimes I start writing with no idea about what I want to write and I just choose a random word to start with, but other times I have a bit of an idea, so I'll choose a word that's related to the um, themes that I am looking at for a particular song or a piece of writing. So if you've got something that you're kind of really interested in at the moment, I would encourage you to use your own prompt word, but if you've got um, no ideas, you can use mine, which is going to be skeleton today, which is something that came up in the last little bit of writing I did for these videos. That's kind of a trick actually that I came up with a few years ago when I did a project called the Song Chain Project. So the idea was each song started with something from the previous day's song, which is a really great way of um, finding yourself a starting point. So you don't have to start from zero, you just take something from the last thing you wrote and then build on that. It's kind of one of my little favourite tricks. So we are going to start our mind map with the word skeleton. So if you just put skeleton in the middle of your page. And then if you just look up skeleton etymology, um, you should get a link to a few different etymological dictionaries. I think etymo online is the one that I usually end up with. So I'm just gonna Google skeleton <laughs> etymology. And yeah, et Etym, etym Online is the website that I'm going to go to, so that's a good one to start with. Alright, I'm going to set a timer for three minutes, and it, the idea is just to kind of click through the links, because you get a lot of links to different words that it's related to, and just add them all down onto your mind map. So three minutes, here we go. And what you can actually do is once you've got a word, you can then kind of go with the word association for outer branches. I should have said that before. So we're, if you're doing skeleton, you're going to end up with similar ones from me on the first page. So we have parch and wither, and then you've got mummy. So maybe I would go from mummy bandage. <laughs> And then you'll see that there's some related entries and then you just kind of keep clicking through and see where you end up.
So this one is actually quite difficult skeleton because there's um, not a lot of stuff that it relates to. You sort of get a bit stuck. So um, one of the related entries was sclerosis and then from there there was multiple. So I'm just going to keep going through from multiple and see where I end up from there. And then once I'm at multiple, there's, um, you can see that there's, if you're kind of following along with me, you've got star mel and star pell. Those ones are kind of um, interesting to look up because you'll see all of the words that have come from that, um, that root, that mel root. So like bland, blandish, blenny, emollient, lots of good words in here. <laughs> skeleton and then I had hardening and parch and wither they were kind of the main ones but then as I said you sort of get a bit stuck with some of them so you have to then click through um, follow the word trails elsewhere so then we had multiple um, arithmetic and multiple personality and then the multiple was um, bland and emollient and then I've also got mummy and bandage there for um, which came from the skeleton as well so then once you've got some words it's kind of fun to um, to mix them up and you know make little sentences and then do a little bit of writing based on that like maybe I don't know I kind of like the idea of a emolly, emollient skeleton that's kind of nice or emollient personality that's kind of cool parched personality parched arithmetic <laughs> um, so you can see that we've already taken our mind into some kind of interesting places that you would never have thought you'd get to just from the word skeleton. So I hope you had fun with this exercise. Um, if you would like to come and write with me live, uh, you can join me on Monday next week or Wednesday next week. I'll put a link in the description below to my lunchtime songwriting session, which is lunchtime Australia time. So I think it's in the evening, Sunday and Tuesday evening if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you're interested, please sign up and I will hopefully see you then. Otherwise, I will be back tomorrow with another exercise. Mm -hmm.